my short term goals is just to uh, improve myself every day. Like I, I want to improve my my uh, health, my networking skills with other people. I want to make like friends that improve, you know, like there's a mutual beneficial relationship. Yeah, man. Um, and I want to be an expert. I want to perfect like what I do. Um, but I'd say long term, I want to Bugatti. Just the Bugatti. <laughs> That's it. I've been wanting this for a while. Uh, from the beginning, we were we started out with shit boxes, and I was like, someday, man. I thought that was a tank. I I had one tiny little. I I didn't. I said it was my first podcast. I had one. It was like super small, and I said, long term, I wanted a tank. That was two years ago. And I've already got a tank. <laughs> like, you gotta keep upping goals, your goals. so I don't know, maybe a Bugatti, <clears throat> but maybe that's next year. They're three mil, which is a lot. That's the one you want. Cause they're not all three mil, no? <sighs> if I get one, I'm gonna do it right. You I'm, want, gonna get, yeah, I'm gonna get a new one. Want. It's gonna be delivered from the dealership. They're gonna have the whole ceremony and a cake. And are you gonna ramp it, just drive it straight off the trailer like <laughs> you did the G Wagon? Well, I gotta enjoy it a little bit. <laughs> It'll be my first Bugatti. Would your all-time plan be to destroy that car? Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we'll just start with, yeah. Um, no one who has a Bugatti. Everyone else, like, I've seen, uh, especially a guy in the UK that I collabed with has an Aventador, and we were having fun with it, literally just off-roading this Aventador, SVJ, really rare car, a million dollars in America. Um, but people who have Bugattis aren't like that. They buy Bugatti to... Right, drive to like the art museum. They put it in their garage. It, yeah. Not yeah, but but they drive it to really big social events or something where yeah. they want that restaurant opening. They usually own restaurants or they own a huge uh, hotel or they'll pull up to the hotel in it. Like they they drive it for a huge status symbol. No one who owns a Bugatti drives it. Maybe other than Andrew Tate drives it to Bob Evans. <laughs> They they don't they're not gonna leave it running outside while they yeah. they go get their coffee in the gas. You're gonna station. go get groceries. In. I'm go, yeah, I'm, but I'm gonna use the Bugatti more than anyone has ever driven a car. And everyone's talking about oh, you probably know Stradman, um, car YouTuber with the purple so cars has purple okay. cars. All right. Um, he bought a Bugatti. It's a used one that somehow came in a crate. I don't know how it came in a crate used. I think he built the crate, but. Um, <laughs> And he, everyone's joking about how he's, oh, you're going to have the Veyron with the most miles on it ever. Thousand miles may sound like a lot for Bugatti, but that's not a lot of miles. I'm talking 300,000 miles. I'm going to drive it until like the, the leather seats are tearing. Like it's going to have genuine, but it's, you know, it'll be something that kind of stays on the channel so people can see what happens if just you were to series. literally not just drive it. Like I might, you know, every day driver go mudding with it and stuff, but. Yeah, so no one's done that with a Bugatti yet. So we're gonna do that with a three. Uh, it'd be four four point five million dollar car. God, dude, that's that's kind of the end game for the cars. 